So, Musgrave, you've heard the word, but do you know what it means? Not a problem. In the next two minutes, you're gonna have a new best friend. All right, let's do this. Press Shift A, S, Musgrave, and you'll see this. Remember this shape. It's important. Increase in scale puts more patterns in the picture, but makes it smaller. Detail controls how sharp the image is. Dimension doesn't do anything until you change lacanority, but if you set lacanority to something like 1.7, then change dimension, you'll start to see what it does. Think of lacanority like patterns of noise, and think of dimension as something that cleans the noise up. No matter how much noise you dump into the image, if you clean it, you will always wind up back at the original shape and that's because the original shape never changes the more you clean the noise the more the original pattern shows up likewise the less you clean your dimension the more noise you will see and the sharper it will be now increasing lacanority adds noise but it adds it in the shape of itself so if we start to increase lacanority we can see that it starts to distort the image but if we keep going up see that look familiar that's exactly what we started with and that is because musgrave is a fractal it's an algorithm rhythmic shape that if you keep repeating will eventually wind up right back where you started. Now let's talk about the different modes. Multifractal is like the default FBM but the dark areas have been brightened. Heteroterrain darkens the black areas of the pattern while keeping the white noise areas clean. Hybrid multifractal does the same thing but this time blurs out the white areas too. And rigid multifractal outlines the white areas in blurry black walls. Here's a little secret, in multifractal if you set lacanarity to something less than 1 and increase your dimension you'll see these super sharp wave looking patterns. And if you change mode to hetero terrain, lacanarity to 0.9, and dimension somewhere between 10 and 20, you'll be able to black out certain parts of the maps into webs. And it makes a really cool abstract pattern. In Blender 2.81, if you're in rigid or hybrid mode, you'll see two options called offset and gain. Offset is kind of tricky to explain, but what's really happening is you're moving the image back and forth on the Z axis. But all you really need to know is that the higher the value, the more it replaces the dark areas of the map with light areas. The higher the gain, the sharper the contrast between the blacks and the whites, and the more the shadows are replaced with white. Alright, so that's how it works, but what do you do with it? Well, the general pattern is great for making military camo and pockets of land formations using displacement maps. It can also be used to make real clean, cleaved out cut formations on certain types of rocks. I personally use it at FBM with lacanority set between 1.4 and 3 with low dimension to get that wear and tear look. But you are free to use it however you want. I hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.